question. Mm -hmm. Would you ever leave me for someone that make more money than me? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? You make what nothing you make? right now. You dead ass make nothing right now. You can't buy me shit. Why would I not? Why would I not? Y'all are with 20 year old men crying when you could be with 50 year old men robbing. Some of the techniques that you'll use to like nag the guy so we can look out for those as men. I don't know, just lower his self esteem, I guess, calling him names or something. Because those are some of the things you've done with him in the past? Uh, yeah, I guess. What are some of the mean things that you've said to your boyfriend, even though he's doing his best? If they have like a dream or something, you know, like try to insult that to kind of like get them down, I guess. Just tell him like you're nobody, your rap career is not going to work out. What's the ultimate goal just to keep him in like a, a constant state of like uh, depression? Um, I guess kind of like make them doubt themselves about like who they are as a person and like their own personalities and stuff like that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, thanks. That's great. We'll, we'll watch out. Come on. Girls have no idea what, what they actually you want. Be oh, come on! Ideal celebrity body. Uh, Zac Efron. Zac Efron has been taking the... Like a uh, 8.7. Where'd the 1.3 go? You could be a little taller. Oh my god, you're not the only girl that said that. Ideal celebrity body. Zac Efron. Really? Why? I like dad bods. You like dad bods? First one of the... D Ideal celebrity body. Zac Efron. Yeah, Zac Efron. Everyone wants Zac Efron. Not as tall, because I'm not that tall. Uh, definitely fit, but not massive. Ideal celebrity body. Uh, uh, the Rock. Really? If you can't take constructive criticism, baby, keep on scrolling. I'm really tired of whenever I have to have a direct moment with the woman. You women don't have any problems expressing yourself when it's something negative to a mouth. The ass don't want to take direct criticism. And you ain't going to get a man because you're not strong enough to woman up and maybe realize there's some shit you got to get together. Ooh, Kendra. It's like, it's like he's got to be perfect. But you're not perfect. You got issues and unresolved issues and you got a temper and you're bossy and you're controlling. Many of you women are not really what you think you're cracked up to be. If you're still operating in guilt and trauma and everything else, baby, that's for you to handle, not him. Respect his space. It's okay. He's not always going to fit your idea. He's not always going to satisfy you in every area. Baby, I promise you every trait that you may have on your beautiful checkoff list, he may not measure up to every single one of them. That's why you have to be selective. This is what so many men have been saying. They cannot take accountability. They cannot take being told uh, about themselves, that everything is meant and that they are the nastiest, meanest. Yeah. So then you say men suck and I ask this question all the time. You complain about men, but are you being the type of a woman that a man would want? What have we seen so many dating, female dating coaches working with women, they can't deal with it no more. I'm not trying to attack, I just want sisters to be real with themselves. The, you, the longer you stay in denial, the more you are going to frustrate yourself. When you are real with yourself about the type of woman you are and what you have to offer, then the, the better you'll be because then you can start making those improvements. There are crappy men in the world, right? But men are crappy because we've created a system where manhood has become obsolete. That's it. Every time any I've heard anyone say, oh, my ex broke up with me, she cheated on me, I need revenge, I need revenge. That's, that's, that's sick minded. The only kind of revenge that you can get on a woman is this. Ever. Say goodbye politely. Keep working hard. Increase your value as a man. Wait three years, four years, six years, yep. 11 years, yep. and you know this story, yep. the 11 year story. Yep. And wait till you are the man, and yep. she's just now some chick, 28, 29, yep. and she's like, Tristan, you know, it should have always been you. Then you win. Yep. That's the only way to get revenge. Yep. You gotta is. keep working is. on yourself and keep working on yourself. It truly is. He don't have to be in Chicago, but he has to be able to fly me wherever I, I, he wants me to come. He got to fly you out. He got to fly me out, girl. I'm not spilling the duckies. If he wants some of this, I'm worth it. Again, this is an elder in our community. Talking about getting flued out. When y'all, like, when I say that our women are suffering from arrested development, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We got older women. 
Yeah, that's how you know uh, to say about that. That's actually shocking. Hey, fellas. They got a new one out now. Another turn off. You can't like them too much. You got to find the median. You got to know just how much to like them. Man is not really complete without his woman, his wife. And then it's like... Yeah. I'd argue it's over now. Yeah? The woman isn't complete without the man. Women are, women are creatures that are interested in people. Men tend to be more interested in things. A woman succeeds when she gets the best man to, to get her the last man. And that's a when you can have as many women as you need. Average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. What she's really wanting are these standards or ideas that she has of what a man is supposed to be. But this is nothing what men are. They're, this is not realistic. You're comparing good men to the men that you've experienced previously who were not ready to be husbands that you were just dating, messing around with. He's supposed to look like this. He's supposed to act like that. Oh, you know what? He's too corny. He, he likes me too much. He texts me too much. Yeah, because the the men that you were messing with, you weren't even the only one. They don't get, they don't text you right back. They don't call you right back because they have a more just like you. So a man comes along that is crazy about you and is interested in you. And I'm sorry to say, you have friend zoned the men that really you're compatible with, the men that would make a wonderful husband. A lot of you have friend zoned the good dude who's ready to be a husband and a father and give you some pretty babies. If you get a pretty boy, Boy and they super fun and they in the mirror more than you, you got a problem. But the problem is you looking at visuals and thinking that men are supposed to look like us or be just as gorgeous as us. No, that's not how God created this whole scenario. Thank you. Girl was getting mad at me. She's like, you're petty as you're low. You cut me off because I have a celebrity crush. Yes. <laughs> wow, you're like Chris Brown me. Brent, just come home. What the f Are we 15? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're not fucking with me no more. Uh, you're off the roster. In fact, block me, because that shit is f***ing wild. You're in the comments talking about, you're everything, you're everything to me. Shut the fuck up. The importance of checking on your cervical health. Because I love to feel strong. I'm already taller than most of these men. I might as well be stronger. Need deadlifting 225, you know, slight work. You 